Game week. Uh, I know our guys are really excited uh, to finally be here. You know, after 15 practices in the spring, and then uh, you know by Friday we'll be at 23 practices before we play LSU. Uh, I know our guys are really excited to get out there and finally play against another opponent. Uh, they've worked really hard this off season. Uh, I know they've been excited about this game for a long time, and looking forward to going down there and seeing what Georgia Southern can do. Coach, uh, the health of the team headed down there? Uh, we're a uh, pretty healthy football team. Uh, you, you know, other than really Brian Miller uh, losing him, uh, everybody else, we got some, you, you know, we got some a little bit of bruised up guys. But again, you have that, that this time of year coming out of training camp. But for the most part, pretty healthy and uh, ready to roll. How do you go about preparing for a team like LSU? Is it more about what they're doing, what you're doing, a little bit of both, or what? Well, again, I think you screw up if you if you try to make it something different than what it is. It is a football game. Uh, they are very talented, uh, very fast, very quick, very strong. Um, you know, to the outside world, it's it's definitely a mismatch. Uh, but our guys, um, they work hard and they they want to show that they belong. They want to show that um, that they can go play against LSU. So we have to continue to prepare to win football games and our plan to win. And we, we got to make sure we never get away from that. Uh, we have to be mindful of what the environment's going to be like and the atmosphere is going to be like with 100,000 plus people. And uh, LSU is a rocking sta uh, stadium on Saturday nights. So uh, we'll have to be ready for that. But we'll go play our game. We'll be blue collar. We'll be disciplined. We'll be tough. And uh, we'll see how this thing unfolds. Coach, just what are your impressions of LSU that you've seen from the tape? And what you at this uh, really good football team. Uh, definitely looked like an SEC football team. Um, you know, I've had a little time in the SEC when I worked at Auburn, and uh, you know, this is one of their better teams. And uh, you know, so we definitely got our work cut out for us to go down there and try to do something. But um, when you watch them, uh, very good on offense, defense, and special teams. Very sound, play hard, play fast, and uh, very athletic. Coach, uh, is there any chance you could pounce on LSU looking past y'all? to their game against Texas, or do you think your 10-win season kind of erased any sort of look past these guys? Well, I, I think we will get in trouble this year if we sit here and go, we're going to sneak up on people. Um, so we're not going to approach it like that. Um, I'm sure LSU is preparing uh, to play us and not playing another football team. And uh, so, um, you know, we expect to get the best out of LSU. What do you tell some of the guys who will be making their first starts or, or first appearances? How do you settle them down before they get there? Is it just going to be something where, you know, during those warm ups, take it all in, and then when that whistle blows, it's go time? Well, uh, obviously, as coaches, we'll talk about it to our young guys that have not experienced this, but um, we need to rely heavily on our guys that, are, that have done this. Um, we've got a lot of guys on our football team that have played at Clemson, that have played at Auburn, and, um, you know, so they definitely can give. Um, you know, tips and advice to the young guys. So uh, I think we got to do a good job as a coaching staff because we will play some young guys. Uh, but, you know, our senior leaders and our, our foundation committee, those are guys that need to step up and try to help those young guys. You actually just kind of touched on what I was going to bring up is you've got a guy like Shy Words who has started in that environment before. Are there any discussions you've had uh, with those guys who will be making their second or third appearance in an SEC or ACC environment where you discuss – how you approach it before, what you can do better, what they've learned from it? Well, again, I think uh, what we talk about an awful lot at Georgia Southern is just our history of uh, going up against um, these type of opponents and how close we've come in a lot of them. And sometimes we don't come up close. Uh, but just knowing that we have to go do the things that we do and we have to do them a little bit better than what we've done before uh, to be able to pull it off. Uh, but our guys know now they know how to win. Um, last year, you know, we were figuring out how to win. Uh, now they know how to win, so now we just got to go do it. We got to go try to execute and do it against a really good football team. Coach, what would you have to do to pull off the upset down in Death Valley? Well, I, I think a lot of things. We got to protect the football. Uh, we would have to control the clock. Um, we would have to make sure that we're flipping the field position when it comes to special teams and making sure we don't put our offense and defense in a bad situation. Um, we definitely have got to play disciplined football. We can't beat ourselves. Uh, we say it all the time, Eagles can't beat Eagles. So, you know, we definitely got to work on that. And then if, if we get ourselves in position to finish the football game, we got to finish. Uh, you know, last year uh, we 
you know, when you look at our scores, sometimes we maybe had some, you know, games where maybe it was kind of like a blowout or whatever, but we didn't always finish the game right. And so uh, I think being able to do all those things and try to, you know, just make sure that we understand that we can't beat ourselves and we have to, uh, we have to get all of our five things with the plan to win done to even have a chance. So uh, our, our guys understand that. We'll go down there and that's exactly how we'll try to play. Is there anything you do differently this week to prepare for maybe difficulty communicating from sideline to huddle, considering the environment you're going into? Yeah, we've spent a lot of time, uh, you know, piping in crowd noise and, you know, things to make it a little bit more difficult on our guys to communicate to one another. Um, and our guys have handled that really, really well. Um, you know, we've done a good job with our snap count. We've done a good job uh, on defense, uh, being able to communicate. You know, and most of the time, the, the problem is going to be on offense because that's when the crowd's going to get really, really loud. Uh, but our guys have done a real good job of that. But we've, we've put in crowd noise. We've put in other distractions. We've done things to, you know, try to take them out of their rhythm, and they've done a good job with that. So really and truly, that's really the only thing that we would do different than we normally would in a week.